Alright, welcome to this video. Just to help you out just after you've installed the plugin. So if you've gone to your plugins and you've added new and you've uploaded uh, WP Mapbox GLJS, or if you've installed from the, the plugin directory, you'll see this uh, disappear here. So you've installed it and now we need something, your Mapbox as access token. So in order to start making maps, you're going to have to enter that in, otherwise Mapbox won't allow us to load everything. So in order to do this, we're going to have to go to the settings page and we're going to have to enter in a Mapbox token here. To do this, we're going to have to also sign up for Mapbox. So if you have an account, you can just sign right in. Otherwise, just make a quick account. We'll just sign in here with one of our accounts. And we'll head in and show you just how this works. So once you've created an account, you'll come in here to Mapbox. And you'll see up in the top right, there's Studio and Account. Just focus on that for now, and we'll head into Account. And this is where you're going to find your access token. So you can see right up here, they're talking about access tokens. So if you just copy this access token right here on this page, and you head back into your plugins, uh, our settings here, you'll see we have a red X. So if I just put in access token, and I try saving that, that red X is going to stay, because it's not going to get red. But if we put in our new Mapbox token, and there we go. It looks like it read it, our warning disappeared, and we're ready to go now with Mapbox GLJS. So now you can go ahead and start adding your short codes or your custom maps, whatever you wanted to do. Hope this video helped you get set up with your access token, and we'll see you some other videos.